I think the whole reason Texas EquiSearch is what it is today is because of your daughter. Tell us about Laura. You know, it's amazing how one day can just change your entire life. She uh, went to the payphone with her mother and she called Vernon and her mother said, Laura, hurry up, I'm going to be late for work. And Laura said, Mom, I just want to talk to Vernon a little bit longer. You know how little 16-year-old lovebirds are. And she said, I'm 16 years old. We only live right down the street. And her mom said, all right, just be careful. When Laura disappeared, there was not one article in a newspaper. There was not one thing on TV. Well, the police chalked police. it up as to she uh, run away. Run away. Run away. 100% run away. Run away. And then, of course, at 17 months later, her body's found two and a half miles from our house. And there's where little Laura's body was found. I built this cross in 1986, a week before Christmas. And I'd walk up and have that little talk with Laura and say, Laura, don't be mad at Daddy right now. I said, but uh, you know, I've, I gotta say goodbye. I have to put my life back together. And I'd say, Laura, I can't come out here anymore. <laughs> I'd hear a little voice on my shoulder, Dad, don't quit, please don't quit. And I'd say, damn you, Laura, just damn. I guess now I know what she meant. <laughs> I felt like, you know what? I'm the worst father in the damn world. I did not know what to do. I was basically paralyzed. How could I let this happen? Dads are supposed to protect their children. You, did you think of suicide? Did I think of it? Let me tell you how God works. I was so close to it the day before they found her body. And I actually went to a hospital. Because God knew. God knew this, I know. That if I wouldn't have been in a safe place when her body was found, there would have been two funerals. But Tim Miller's still here. And he's helping other families now. I remember back in 2000, we was on a search and a search director for another search team said, Tim, what are you gonna do with your horses? And I said, you know what? I just love them. And we take them on trail rides and stuff. And, and he actually suggested, why don't you start a mounted search and recovery team? It'd be another good resource. And I said, you know, that's a good idea. Somebody would come and say, you know what? I'm a pilot. I got my own airplane, my own helicopter. Can I become a member? Come on so, in. Come on. Then people would come and say, you know what? I've got a boat, I'm a certified diver. And then people would come and say, you know what? I work with this company, we've got ground penetration units. So in all honesty, and it's not bragging by no means, but we've got uh, more resources than most law enforcement agencies in the country have. So you never say no? How can you? Can't. You sit in my office 24 hours and you answer the phone and I will guarantee you, this is a guarantee, there's gonna be somebody call crying on the other end of that phone because they got a missing loved one. See if you can tell them no, I can't. It is impossible for a family to move forward with their life without knowing. I know 17 months, every time my phone rang, every time somebody pulled in my driveway, Every time somebody knocked on the door, I got heart palpitations. Just think of their bringing Laura home. I promised God and I promised Laura I would never leave a family alone if there's anything that I could ever do to help. Didn't know there's going to be this many families.